General Quarters. Thanks for joining me, everyone. In this video, I'd like to share a Kraken with you guys that I got in the Z23. You guys know that I love that German DD line, so that is definitely keeping with that. I'd also like to take the opportunity to give you guys some recommendations on the upcoming arena season. Now, I've got a bunch of gameplay video dating back, geez, since actually the first arena season. So, I'm telling you, I love it, I love it, I love it. That is actually a great opportunity to stack mass amounts of currency, credits, and XP. So, you are going to definitely want to put those epic boosters on, at minimum a two star. Uh, if you've got one stars, bump them things up to two stars, but definitely a minimum of a two star. And go out there and play like you're not afraid to die. Do not play conservative. I assure you, if you just run out there, and now that doesn't mean go play stupid. <laughs> that doesn't mean go out there and just try to die. I mean, obviously play strategic and try to you know do your best, but I just mean don't go to the edge of the map. Don't run away. I mean, really, really try to play aggressive, but yet strategically. So by doing that, you are going to stack again credits and xp that's how i get into either the top one or top ten percent at a minimum depending on what your goals are obviously top 50 top 25 you know whatever floats your boat but nevertheless this is also a way to stack credits and commander xp and especially global xp i mean that stuff comes so slow so when you're getting in there and you're running 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 and you're engaging and engaging i mean you'd be surprised those quick battles it stacks up fast so let's jump into this battle so as you can see we are playing aggressive i'm pushing the cap we clip a cat with one torpedo and we are going to go ahead and finish him off jump on our smoke pop that sonar and this is actually going to piggyback on the type of DDs that I would recommend for Arena. So if you are a DD guy, you are going to want those gunboats. Gunboats with sonar, obviously a plus. Definitely stay away from torpedo boats. And I know there are some people out there that are going to completely disagree with me and they love running the torpedo boats. But just my personal experience, man, every time I come across a torpedo boat in Arena or, well, uh, brawl, <laughs> uh, ranked or standard, actually, for that fact, uh, I'm, I'm going to just smoke them up and gun them down. I mean, so that's why I would suggest running gunboats. Uh, if you're running a battleship, I would definitely run anything that is going to be agile. Uh, secondaries are great, so again, German line. If you're running an American line, Alabama, Massachusetts, great, great choices, agile, and definitely pack a punch. Brandenburg, Odin, Bismarck, all great choices. Uh, you could actually run JB. Now, JB you might be at a little bit of a disadvantage, obviously, because you don't have a rear gun, or La Fiorda doesn't have those rear guns, but it's still agile, uh, and it definitely would work in Arena. So, it really is going to be up to you what ships you have, what ships you play comfortable with, uh, what ships you have the, you know, the high-level commanders for. Um, but I'm just going to suggest stuff that is agile, quick reload, uh, sonar, and radar. Especially if you're running cruisers, you definitely want sonar and radar. Because I assure you, there's going to be a ton of torpedoes running around. There's going to be a ton of smoke screens. So anything with that is going to be extremely beneficial as well. So, that's just a few of my recommendations. Obviously, uh, once we get into it and we start grinding that out, man, I'm going to drop some videos, of course, show you guys some gameplay and some awesome DDs and drop some more recommendations for you guys. Uh, but nevertheless, it's going to be a blast, so go out there and just have fun. That's the main thing, have fun. So, we are heading back over into C because we know that... The cruiser is going to be coming around the corner, and that's why I went ahead and switched to a widespread because as he's running broadside, it is always better to dump those off at a widespread. 
if you dump him off at a you know close in you got a good chance he's going to be able to duck and dodge that unless you're just you're right spot on but the slightest bit of maneuvering it can definitely throw it off with a short spread so uh just food for thought you know for you dd guys uh, as well as you cruiser guys man if you're out there running and you know you're spotted mm, do some zigzagging man it, it really does make it hard on us dd guys for sure uh same thing with battleships you know do those zigzags uh always trying to change direction throttle down throttle up it makes it a little bit more difficult but nevertheless, I'm a persistent SOB, so somehow, some way, I'm still going to get you. <laughs> and as you can see, he gets himself beached, and we got him. So heading over here to B, we took the lead. We're doing great. And, you know, I'm always out there sniffing, hunting, trying to get those Krakens, man, for you guys. And, and you'll see, I'm a push and push, and I tell you, Paying attention to the mini-map is so important, guys, and you'll see why, especially at this. Uh, while we're getting set up, I would like to take the opportunity to tell you guys I had mentioned I was going to drop an introductory video for Rocket League. I have a change of plans. I am going to do the introductory for Gran Turismo Sport first because Gran Turismo 7 legit went on sale. 20 bucks off I mean 40 bucks the game just came out last month so I am really been grinding trying to get my skills up and also just work my way through the first one get acclimated getting myself prepared for the next one so that'll be my next video for you guys it's gonna be the introduction to Gran Turismo Sport and we'll run through that and work through it so we can get into Gran Turismo 7 man good stuff so getting back to the battle though we got Tash Kent spotted and we're just trying to get situated we want him to kind of come in a little bit more because our sonar is short so boom he's coming in we got the smoke pop we got sonar and he's gonna pop up here in about a second and there he is so that's what we're looking for getting ourselves positioned also to where that island is going to block any torpedoes coming in so that way I can just duck behind there real quick so as you see boop boop and of course torpedoes coming in because it's a smoke screen you gotta expect it and we get the fire and we get them sent back to port and as luck would have it kid shows up to the party I'm like uh oh getting our defense in we got four kills took out the first two DDs you know I'm starting to salivate I'm, I'm smelling that cracking there's the kid we gonna gun down the kid uh oh let's get them salvos off torpedoes incoming of course it's not gonna help you no sir and we get them sent back to port and get the crack in absolutely love it good job so now here is actually where I was talking about paying attention to the minimap because I'm thinking all right Baltimore is right there the battleship I thought he was actually heading straight and going towards the island so I, I didn't even look which maybe I should have but I, I was really in this tunnel vision I just got the crack in I'm riding that high and then I'm like alright I got Baltimore gunned down a cruiser I want number six so I'm just tunnel vision at this point not paying attention to where that battleship is until I start pushing and I'm like alright Baltimore is looking at me I see those guns paying attention and I'm like, uh-oh, I just got hit. Oh, not good, not good. Keep pushing. And I'm like, come on, come on, number six. Oh, yeah, come on, salivating. <laughs> oh, eating that ship up. And come on, a couple more shots. And, oh, man, so close, right? So close. Oh, am I going to get it? You know it. <laughs> and I look up and... <laughs> I get my butt sent right back to port. That's all right, man. That is okay. Well worth it. We got a six kill Kraken, all three DDs, four defends, one cap. Absolutely love it. I will take that all day. Now, this is the point where I'm like, okay, team, oh, please don't, don't throw this away. 
it's literally in the bag 693 245 we got five minutes on the clock he's backing up come on team we got this right how many times though has something happened <laughs> where your team has thrown it away luckily that is not gonna happen here because our DD is actually in the cap he's just trying to stop their points completely get his cap that's actually a good move he's not trying to YOLO you know King George he's just gonna let him roll and get that cap so good job my friend and you guys will see we're just keeping an eye on him because we definitely want to make sure we bring that game home man because that's that's some serious fighting I'm telling you playing a DD I mean, I don't care what tier you're in. Playing a DD is is something else. I mean, you're the littlest ship with the littlest HP. And once you get spotted, I mean, whew, a team can make short work of you, man, real quick. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've gotten annihilated. And I got to say it. I know you cruiser guys are not happy about the radar rework. But as a DD guy... Man, it really does give us a little bit more life. And don't get me wrong, I'm t I always preach it. Focus on the DD, kill him, get him out the game fast because they're deadly. But it does give us a little bit more of a chance to survive when you do get lit up and the entire team is shooting at you because that does suck. <laughs> I've melted many times. And as you can see, here we go. Our DD did a good job and sends him right back to port. Good job, team. We pulled the win home. So I will go ahead and share the ship and commander setup like usual. And we'll go ahead and get back to port. And as you can see, it wasn't exactly a high scoring game. Not a ton of medals. First blood, Kraken. But we did get just a little over 3,000 XP. So we put in the work. Now this paint job was from the rust and rumble event and yes it is ugly but you know what i just can't help but love it for whatever reason it's ugly as can be <laughs> so let's jump into the upgrades so for the first slot i'm gonna run aiming system mod one so that way i can get that seven percent dispersion on the main battery as well as that traverse speed for the torpedo launchers of 20 percent would definitely help as well and I'm always going to run on my gunboats, Propulsion Mod 2, because you want to get that thing up and moving as quick as possible. Of course, Concealment System Mod 1, so that way you can get that detectability down as well as that incoming fire dispersion. And for the fourth slot, this is where I decided to go main battery reload because I definitely want that reload to gun those torpedo boats and other DDs down. Now this one you do take a 15% hit on the traverse speed, but nevertheless, as you guys saw, it's still beneficial to have that main battery reload. But if you don't want to take that hit, I would suggest gunfire control system. So this way you can at least get the range, you get some extra dispersion, but you're not getting hit for that traverse speed. I would never recommend torpedo launchers because you want to spec a gunboat out for just gunboats. Torpedoes are just for area denial. And then of course your last four upgrades. Now, actually, let me jump back over here. So I ended up getting this Kraken because I was grinding out my tech tree to get to the Z46. And the Z46, let's take a look at it. I just haven't decided to buy it. And the reason why I was saying, let's take a look at it, is again, the upcoming arena season, this would definitely be a good choice. Sonar, detection of ship, 4.4 kilometers. Torpedo detectability, 3.1. And this is definitely going to be a solid choice. Engine boost. And we got smoke generator. So definitely, definitely a solid choice for Arena. Now, getting into the commander. I'm going to be running, obviously, my guy Eric Bay. So his base trait, stacked with Swirskis, gives me that double concealment, allowing me to get on those torpedo boats a lot easier. 
And of course, Vincent Mordoff for more main battery reload. But if you don't have him, or you don't plan on ever getting him, to get that additional reload for those gunboats, you're going to want to go to Ding. And again, you can see main battery reload. And then tree skills, I'm going to be running observant range for that main battery reload, as well as the torpedo detectability. And then look at me now, of course, twist and track because I do want that extra 2% definitely helps instead of running perceptive and smoke on the water. And for the legendary perk running unstoppable. So this is my ship and commander setup for the Z-23. Again, love this German line, fun times, and I can't tell you how many Krakens I have actually gotten just by grinding out the tech tree lines. So I hope the information I helped. Please don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, stay frosty out there.